In this video, I will show you the fastest way to create textures for any 3D model in literally few minutes, so later on you can put it in your game. Alright guys, here I have this model in Substance Painter with all of the bake maps from High Poly, and for very fast texturing I will use our custom plugin. Let's switch material to base color and search for simple diffuse. I will apply it. And here, in one second, I will get this color base, in my opinion, with correct values. Right now, everything is very warm, and if we go to diffuse, shadows will be warm as well, so I change preset to rock. Right now, we have cold shadows, so right away, I go to shadow, I increase saturation for the shadow. Same for ambient occlusion. We are getting something like this, and let's copy it. Right click at a black mask, right click at color selection, select the metal, it could be gold, so we can change it to gold, like this one, but I want to make it metal, I think it will be just better, let's increase brightness, just like this, and make it a bit more saturated. Ok, it's fine for me, then I will go to base light and I will increase this value just a bit, and then I go to secondary light and I want to add reflection from the sky right from the bottom, so let's enable it, by default it will be red, kind of weird, let's change it to sky blue color like this, I mean looks fine, we can rotate this specific light and we need to change opacity just a bit. Let's copy this simple diffuse once again. I want to add a bit color variation on the texture. Add a black mask, right click, add paint, press on 4. Let's select this face on the UV. Let's say let's make it brighter. And also I want to make these hands brighter. Everything else is completely fine for me, maybe we can even select this part. I would like to play around with metal even more, the thing that we don't need to add very bright curvature or bright highlights like this, because later on we will apply roughness, we will apply metallic, we will load it in Unreal or Unity and it will look so weird. So if you have very bright curvature lines like this, you just need to remove them at all costs and you need to focus on the quality of your sculpt. Then I go back to my initial simple diffuse, I copy it. I go to brush rocks, let's enable them, you will see something like this. This way we can kind of fake the hand paint without even painting it. So let's increase the contrast, I will make it a bit darker, because everything became too bright and let's make it darker even here, until we don't see much of the difference, let's make it even darker. Ok, add a black mask, right click, add paint and this way we can just paint a bit go back to this one and let's make it even darker. And if I go to paint once again, for example, I would like to paint some details here guys. It's literally cheat code, you don't need to paint sometimes. Or stuff like this. But in my opinion here we already have details. So we need to add it where we don't have any of the details, like this. We can maybe add a bit here, some minor touches, but it will look very nice. Here as well, we could add it here a bit. Then I will literally copy this simple diffuse, I go black mask, then I need to add generator, let's add dirt or dripping crust, all of them are kind of good, so we can add some green colors, and it seems like it's too noisy for this stylized texture, maybe we can right click and add slow blur filter. Yep, we'll look like this, and if you want, you can change the opacity, also you can add paint layer on top and you can remove it in some places. Also I have one cheat code, I can add secondary light, it will be from the bottom, but I need to make it colder like this and I need to make it darker, also it will be a very nice artistic additional touch. Alright guys, that will be it for this texture, you can see once you have detailed sculpt, it's so simple to create texture, and you don't need to overcomplicate it. Even if you have low poly model, I still suggest to sculpt a bit on top of it, and then use the same technique that we have here. Sometimes you can add a bit more hand paint details, especially on characters, or if the model is very simple. But that's completely different story, in this video I just wanted to show you how simple and clean you can create your textures once you have the finished 3D model with bake maps. In this video I used our custom paid plugin Simple Diffuse, you can find it on Gumroad, but you can also try achieving this result by yourself if you just add one fill layer, you fill it with the main a bit darker color, 
let's say like this one in between then you copy this layer and you pick color for the light it will be brighter and warmer then right click at the black mask right click once again generator and search for light yep this way we can kind of achieve similar result especially if you change opacity and if you add another color for the shadows but the point of our plugin is to speed up the process dramatically in one place you have every setting you have gradient from the bottom you can fake brush strokes also you have post process you can control your light you have secondary kind of rim light if you need it and it will save you plenty of time of loading because simple diffuse is very light and by default it will give you the correct values right away especially if you have detailed sculpt guys i hope this video was helpful for you I will see you in the next one.